landed back where it once was many, many years ago in the garage. <laughs> Oh boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. I dug back through one of our old computers back to 2009 and found some photos from the first time this vehicle was in our possession. The story is that an old man in the 80s was trying to restore this car when he died and the car was left with the property. It sat abandoned in a shed for 20 years until we came along to find it. Eventually, we too gave up on it and stuffed it in the shed for the remaining 10, at which point this video series starts. So before we begin the final part of this series, I have a little treat for you. Here's a clip of 13 year old Kevin and my current cameraman back in the day. Hey everybody, this is our seven, 1971 Fiat Spider 850. Let's show you what we got. Okay, starting her up. Hear that thing burn. First things first, this car needs a bath. And before you say anything about, oh Kevin, why'd you spray water on the dash? Remember, this thing just sat for 30 years uncovered. This is the best thing that's happened to it. I would like to mention that this is the first of three revivals that I filmed this summer, and you'll notice they get better as time goes. For today, we finished the Fiat. All right, so we're digging into our carburetor here, and I found a serious issue. When you floor it, observe what happens to the butterfly valves. That's wide open throttle. Note that neither of those are in wide open throttle. So what I think can happen here is that this pin right here slipped past where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be over here. So we're just going to bend that back to where it's supposed to be. Slap this thing in the tank. Clean it up. Throw it all back together. See how well she runs then. Should run way better now. Alright, so upon further inspection, I found that it was actually due to this thing being so old and having so much play in it it was actually grinding up against this washer here so to get that back within tolerance we um, fixed it with a little massaging by massaging I mean filing and by filing I mean I went at it with the angle grinder but it is fixed now so we now have no throttle catch anywhere here it doesn't hit on the way up or down which is quite nice that it doesn't stick open. So now we have full throttle on both cylinders and it doesn't get caught on the way back either so we're not going to have it's now far more safe and far more functional which is
hooked up, vacuum lines hooked up, choke, throttle, um, all of our electricals reconnected, battery's good to go, wires are out of the way. Oh, oh shit, hang on. <laughs> I need that screwdriver. We forgot something kind of major. <laughs> we would have had a mess. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, that throttle feels a million times better. Ready? Who's in gear? <laughs> good thing it was in forward. Let me move the camera now. Camera good? Yep. There right, we go. Secondaries open up, it goes. I'd call it done. There's no brakes, but the handbrake works, so that's good enough for me. What do we do with this thing now? I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what to do now. Uh, we might actually throw this on Facebook and see if we can trade it for something cool. If they're on Craigslist, we'll find out. But for now, to end this video, I'm looking at a rear engine car here with like 40 horsepower. This thing might have some drip missile in it. Let's go find out. Yeah, so it turns out the Fiat's not the best drift car I've ever had. Now I know a lot of you are gonna complain, oh Kevin, why'd you beat on that car so bad? But listen, this car just sat abandoned for 30 years and was brought back to life. A lot of you said in the comments you need to take this thing out to a curvy road and really enjoy it. Where I live, everything is literally gravel and squares. So the closest thing I had to a curvy road was a patch of grass down by the garden. And boy, I'll tell you, it was a lot of fun. You guys were right. This is a good handling car. And speaking of comments, one, no, possums cannot get rabies. Two, that thing's fine guys, he's still alive. He still runs around the farm today. I did not hurt him in any way. He is the happy junkyard digs possum. On another note, yes, we did change the oil before we ever touched this motor, and yes, I did put oil in the cylinders before cranking it for the first time. Honestly, if you ask me, there's no better way to end a revival video than doing donuts in front of the shed that this car was formerly abandoned in. Shit. 
All right, so there you go. That is the turd yacht, the drift yacht, I don't know, Fiat, you call it what you want. This thing was a barn find. It sat in that shed for God knows how long, and then in a different shed for 20 years before that. It runs, it drives. I think I'm gonna sell it or trade it. I have no idea. I have really no use for it. I hope you guys like this. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Junkyard Digs will have plenty more stuff like this. Um, make sure you follow the Instagram page, Junkyard underscore Digs, and check out the other videos. I'll see you guys next time on Junkyard Digs. Peace. Yep, I sold it. But worry not, the new owner is giving it a full restoration. But now the question is, what to do with the money from the Fiat? Hmm, I bet I can think of something. Yeah, there's something out there I can find, and who knows, maybe you'll see it on the next episode.